Good morning. This is Brother Rob Wilson. I'm coming at you this morning from Peoria, Illinois, and um, troubled, troubled, deeply troubled in my spirit, grieved in my spirit, and <laughs> that's one of the that's one of also the gifts of the spirit is that we we don't just we don't just feel joy to be a Christian. If we did not feel grief and sorrow, we would not be experiencing the love of God, the love for God, and the love of God. Oftentimes, people want to believe that the fruit of the Spirit is merely Galatians 5.22. The fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, joy, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, and temperance. Against such there is no law. This is true. But the fruit of the Spirit is to be like Christ. I'm bringing a prophetic word this morning. You could say this is, this is a prophetic word. And the prophetic word is a call to repentance. It's a call to sorrow. And it's a call to grief. I will remind you that it was said of Christ, and if we are to be conformed to the image of Christ, we are to be like Christ in every attribute. And it's the most beautiful th thing and the most incomprehensible thing to be transformed to the degree that what brings God joy and delight brings us joy and delight. But the Bible says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit with whom you were sealed. And I will remind you in Isaiah 53, it says that of Christ, that he was a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. This word is to those who, those who fell under the witchcraft spell of false prophets. I want to remind you of the number of times. I want, I want the Holy Spirit and my words to bring to your remembrance the number of warnings that Christ gave and the apostles gave about false teaching and false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravenous wolves and these ravenous wolves are are masquerading as angels of light they're masquerading as prophets of God so I want to tell you that if you know any false prophet who prophesied that Donald Trump was going to be elected to be president of the United States in 2020 they are a false prophet that did not happen. There's no way that you say it did happen spiritually and it didn't happen physically. You show me evidence in the Bible where someone said, Thus saith the Lord, and the Lord has, hath spoken, and it did not come to pass. That is the very sign that it is not a prophecy. And what very few of them have done is they've repented of their false prophecy. So if you're prophesying, and this is done to scratch the ears of people with itching ears. The Bible says that people will gather around them a great number of teachers to tell them what their itching ears want to hear. Let me tell you something. There are historical leaders in the Bible that God has raised up, and he raises up whom he raises up, and he brings down whom he brings down. But not one of them was put on the level of deity or divine deliverer. In other words, they, they were used by God, but they weren't required by God. Amen? And to exalt a national leader and a political figure to the level of deliverer, to the lever, level of savior, to the level of Messiah, is antichrist. I'm just going to tell you. And this is, you can check this out in 1 John chapter 4. I just witnessed a false prophet who is still prophesying false prophecy. I'm going to tell you that this is not a time to be deluded, to be delusional, <clears throat> or to be not repentant of things that have already come to pass in the not so distant past. It's time to repent. It's time to get into the word of God to study to show yourself approved from, from the down and out to the up and out. 
because we need to make sure that we are not deceived and following doctrines of demons and things that are that are false prophecy. That's my prophetic word. This this should speak to people because right now this is a time and the Bible says that in the last days before the coming of the lawless one, the false prophet, and before the establishment of the beast, the false prophet, and the antichrist, there will come upon the earth a strong delusion that people would believe a lie. This is not time to, to follow a Jesus somebody else tells you about. This is a time to know Jesus for yourself, to know the nature, the personality, and the presence of the Holy Spirit, but you know when it's false prophecy, when it rings true by the spirit of truth. Jesus said, I have much more to tell you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will lead you into all all truth. Not semi, not, not throwing darts at a dartboard, hoping it comes to pass, banking on the law of averages, and, and banking on the basest desires of human nature to have a political leader to follow. Mm. And I just witnessed it, this, this man still speaking from dreams and visions and prophetic words that God has not uttered. Repent. I might be the least of all these. That's fine. But I'm still going to preach Christ and Him crucified. And also the power of the Holy Spirit. I mean, it's time to get beside yourself to know Christ for yourself, to know Christ's personality, his nature, his virtue. And he has not given his virtue to glorify another man, to glorify another kingdom, or to need to be married in political allegiance with any government on earth. Now, just Pilate, Pilate and, and Christ interaction themselves and Pilate says are you the king of the Jews and Jesus said you say that I am you, you the testimony of him being king of Jews was how he was mistreated was how he was misaligned you know and he but he said my kingdom is not of this world all right he does not need he did not need all these Roman emperors and this is the Jezebelic church this is the great whore of Babylon. This is the the, <clears throat> the harlotry of the religious system that rides on the back of the beast. Okay? Because God doesn't need uh, political systems. He doesn't need capitalist systems, socialist systems, Marxist systems. The kingdom of God is a kingdom apart from every other system or world power. Mm. Let me give you a prophetic word. Because... You, you can bank on this. You need to get into this and get with someone who knows how to discern and is led by the spirit of truth or you will be deceived. Okay? Religion will not keep you from being deceived. A religious system. A religious system is a, is a system set up by man to get to God. James said, religion that God our fa Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after widows and orphans and to keep oneself from being defiled by the world. These false prophets are defiled by the world system. They're trying to bring the, 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 the religious system into the world system and cause this perversion and this harlotry. God doesn't like ha spiritual harlotry. He does not require... A certain president in the, in the United States or leader in any he'll he'll make them rise he'll make them fall if they've already proven themselves to be a false prophet you need to repent of listening to or following them until they have repented gotten solid Bible teaching and solid spiritual teaching let me sh share with you what the Bible says <clears throat> long ago God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets there are still prophetic voices out there and they're agreeing with what God's Word says but they're also agreeing with what God's Spirit 
testifies about. The spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus Christ. Not the <laughs> Jezebelic harlotry with world political systems. Mm. He spoke by the prophets, but in these last days he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things. He didn't appoint any other leader, any other uh, celebrity, any other platform as heir of all things. He appointed Christ as heir of all things. Mm. It says here that he also created, through whom he also created the worlds. He, Christ, is the reflection of God's glory in the exact representation of God's very being. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. And he sustains genuine and true prophecy by his powerful word. If it is thus saith the Lord, it shall most certainly come to pass and it shall not delay in other words it, it, your will d does not put on pause God's will because people didn't vote a certain way that's that's a way to slip the knot of getting out of repenting for being a false prophet and it says here he sustains all things by his powerful word and when he had made purifications for sins he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high having become as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. This may seem like a strong word, but it is a strong word because of an important time. It says here in verse 11 of, of, of Hebrews 1, uh, it says here, but to which of the angels has he ever said, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet? God didn't appoint any world leader to sit at his right hand. Christ sits at the right hand of God the Father. Are not all angels spirits in, the, in, div, in divine service sent to serve for the sake of those whom are to inherit eternal life? Mm. Praise God. So, I'm going to say a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a protector. You are a covenant keeper. You are, there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Only you can protect us. Only you can lead people to repentance, O oh God. Only you <clears throat> can take away a heart of stone and give a person a heart of flesh. May your people who are called by your name, may their hearts be broken. May their, may their spirit and will be broken so that we can be filled by, led by, and discern good from evil, light from dark, because we are indwelt and led by the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we love them, but we have to pray for them. We have to pray for those who are speaking falsehood that is giving you a bad name, leading people astray, and bringing dishonor and discord in the body of Christ because they are promoting lesser things over the main thing, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news which brings salvation to all men in whom have trusted in you. And Lord, help us to be bold, courageous, and tenacious warriors of the representation of the nature, the majesty, the splendor, and the supremacy of God the Father through the power of your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, I'm done with this message and I, I can't, it's not going to stop. They're not going to stop. They're not going to stop leading people astray. And eventually, this will lead people into the false, 
the false alliance with world religious systems. The compromising, all paths lead to God. You believe what you believe and that's okay and and there's multiple ways to God and laying in harlotrous allegiance with governmental systems, financial systems, and religious systems. And they will say, peace, peace. This is in the name of peace. But Jesus said, do you think I came to bring peace to the earth? Nay, a sword. For I shall set at variance a man against his father and a, and a mother against her daughter and a son against his parents. I hope you have a blessed day. Keep your eyes open. Be alert. Be sober. Be vigilant. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And he is most often devouring people through itching ears and telling them what they want to hear. Peace.